What's going on comic fans, it's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here, hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and sound, enjoying their comics, there's a lot of amazing, amazing content coming out nowadays, um, but as always, we all have omnibus wish lists, we all have books that we would like to see get made um, into an omnibus, and today I wanted to talk about one such title, Deathstroke the Terminator by Marv Wolfman, um, and a plethora of artists that we'll get into um, uh, once we get into the video. Fantastic, fantastic series that I think deserves an omnibus. Um, so please, before we even get started, let me know if you do agree down in the comments below, and I'll give my argument for why we should see an omnibus for this amazing, amazing title. Real quick, though, I want to mention organicpricebooks.com. If there's anywhere we'll ever see an omnibus, when we do see an omnibus, the place I'll be getting it from is organicpricebooks.com. With the promo code THC2, you get an extra $2 off your order. An amazing service, great shipping, great customer service, great packaging, incredible, incredible stuff. Um, really good prices too and if you're interested why pricing is the way it is now on various comic book websites graphic novel websites you can check out organic price books instagram jp goes over it in detail why prices are the way they are um, amazing amazing stuff so check them out now let's talk deathstroke the terminator by marv wolfman <laughs> It seems like DC Comics is sort of uh, releasing Deathstroke Omnis based on the lowest quality and sort of going up uh, as they do. Um, and there may be some argument here or there about which Deathstroke run is the best. But for me personally, Deathstroke the Terminator by Marv Wolfman, the best, the absolute best uh, Slade Wilson run. I've ever read in my life. I absolutely adore the run. So far, we've had the Tony Daniel run come out in an omnibus. We've also had uh, we also had the upcoming Christopher Priest omnibus. At least as the, at the date of this recording, it may be out by the time you're watching this. If you're watching it in the future, but nonetheless, these two omnis have come out for the character first without the original ongoing series for him. Um, it's kind of crazy. Deathstroke was, of course, introduced in New Teen Titans by Marv Wolfman and George Perez, um, an incredible storyline that, of course, would have to be included in the omnibus, um, along with any other tie-in storyline. I don't remember all of them, but there are some crossover uh, issues within the 60-issue run of Marv by Marv Wolfman and Steve Irwin. Um, Steve Irwin is the primary artist on the title. You get some George Perez in there, you get some Dan Jurgens once in a while, um, and a few other artists pop in here or there, but overall, I've got to say, the incredible detail with which Marv Wolfman writes and the incredible prose with which he writes um, what what you know when I read something like New Teen Titans or a lot of other uh, Marv Wolfman's other work um, sometimes there's a bit too much exposition it may go a little slowly it may not have that sort of intrigue or that mystery or that characterization that I'm hoping for that you get to see in more modern comics that for me personally draws me into them more but with Deathstroke the Terminator uh, Marv Wolfman was writing with uh, such an incredible style. You get a lot of stuff from the per perspective of Wintergreen, um, who is, you know, the, the helper, the friend, the, the best man of Slade Wilson. Um, an incredible perspective in which you get to see how he's observed Slade and how he's been involved with his life and the history between the two characters. I mean, it's really great to see the perspective of, of Wintergreen analyzing everything that Slade does. Um, you get to see Slade Wilson, you know, do incredible feats of combat and, and acrobatics within the series. The action sequences are spectacular. Steve Irwin, I mean, my goodness, like, some of the most incredible car chases I've seen. Um, really, really, really incredible sequential action um, that would be absolutely mind-blowing in oversized uh, omnibus format. You know, with a, with a series that's 60-ish issues, you know, probably about a dozen more with all the, the various tie-ins and the new Teen Titans story, um, all that stuff, you know, maybe you'd, you'd probably have to split this into two Omni. So it'd be a two Omni set um, for, honestly, what I think is the, the best Deathstroke run. A little bit, let's, let's talk a little bit more about the run. Maybe I, I had jumped the gun a little bit. Slade Wilson, of course, is Deathstroke. He's a, a man who was, you know, very disciplined, a very, very, you know, troubled person who under some experimentation you know was given some enhancements that have made him deathstroke um, and since becoming deathstroke he's become a mercenary he 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 lives by his own rules his own morals um he doesn't 
he doesn't murder, he kills, um, is his way of saying it. I think I got that right. I'm pretty sure I got that right. So he doesn't do anything in cold blood. He tries to only kill people who deserve to be killed. And if it's for a contract, then he absolves himself basically of a, a, some of the guilt. But you see this sort of um, the, the morality of Slade Wilson, that he's fighting with himself, um, you know, as his loved ones, as his previous relationships get involved, as other characters within his life, his family gets involved. Um, you see his different side to the character, the cold-hearted, the, the steel, steel-eyed character sort of melts away and you see uh, a more personable character, a more emotional character. And again, getting that from the, the Wintergreen perspective um, is, is absolutely really, really well done. It, it's such a gripping title. It is. It can get a little text heavy at times, but it's such good text that I don't mind it at all, um, which is weird for me to say. I'm typically not the biggest fan of a lot of... I don't mind it. I like reading. I'm reading comics to read comics. I love Sandman, for example, but you know, sometimes there are a lot of writers who can't do what Neil Gaiman does. Um, but, you know, Marv Wolfman, in his own respect, not that I'm comparing him to Neil Gaiman in this case, but within his own respect in the story, it works really, really well. Um, and like I said, the artwork, I mean, whether it's a scene of Slade Wilson sitting at a cafe drinking coffee, or whether it's him jumping from one building to another while fighting someone while shooting, um, it's absolutely, absolutely spectacular artwork. And for, you know, this was back in the day when an artist would stick on a title. Um, so you get consistent artwork all the way throughout. You get to see plenty of characters within the DC universe pop up. Um, but most of all, you get an incredible story about an anti-hero that honestly I could not get enough of. Um, I wish there was more of it. Um, and I really, at this point, if I don't see a, an omnibus within the next year for it, um, or, you know, the first volume of a set of Omnis anyway, I think I'm just going to custom bind the series. I, I know there have been five trade paperbacks released that collect the entirety of the series. Um, you can probably also get the entire run for a relatively good price online if you're lucky, if you're patient. Um, so I'm definitely going to do that if it comes down to it. It'll probably be expensive by then, but we'll see what happens. I will stay optimistic that we'll see an official release at some point. It seems like Deathstroke gets a lot of love. Um, so I imagine we'll see a Marvel Wolf and Omni uh, one day. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments below. Have you read the run? Did you enjoy it? Do you recommend it to other people? Would you buy a, uh, an Omnibus if DC Comics released it? Let us know down in the comments section below. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. One last time, check out Organic Price Books. The the place Matt and I go to whenever we're buying our hardcovers, our Omnis, our Absolute Deluxe Editions, even trade paperbacks at times. A fantastic website. Check them out. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.